I personally believe this is the, the creepiest story on ghost tours and the thing that makes it so creepy is that it is a very real story and it's connected with the ghost train fire at Luna Park in 1978. And um, for those of you who know about that, I mean, Luna Park's a very famous amusement park in Sydney. And um, <clears throat> in 1978, the old ghost train ride, which was full of accumulated dust and paper mache dolls and probably, you know, uh, dodgy wiring and from mm. the 1930s, it probably hadn't been upgraded, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. Uh, burst into flames and it was an inferno within minutes, a firestorm. And of course, uh, the following morning they found the remains of the ghost train and the, which was virtually nothing left and that also destroyed a very famous old wooden roller coaster, the Big Dipper, and also the Tunnel of Love, which was known as the River Caves. Mm. So all both of all of those locations were destroyed, so it's very sad really. Right. But um, the uh, fire department and the, and the cops, when they examined the site the following morning, they initially they didn't think anyone had, had actually died as a result of the fire. But they actually ended up finding the bodies of seven people, uh, five young boys and a couple of parents, a father and an uncle. The mother had cheated death by just uh, inadvertently by going for an ice cream and not deciding to go on the ride that night. And uh, <clears throat> it's interesting to note that earlier in the day, uh, they'd been down at Circular Quay. And there's actually a YouTube video on this uh, saying who started the Luna Park Ghost Tour and Roller Coaster Fire. It's an American documentary, mm. about 15 minutes in length. And you've got the photograph on your website. That's right. It's a very creepy photo. And it shows someone dressed up as Moloch, who was the pagan god of child sacrifice, actually putting his arm around one of the children. Mm. It was taken five or six hours before that boy was actually burned to death. Now, this particular pagan god, I believe, used to apparently burn kids to death. It's a very child vicious, sacrifice, child yeah, sacrifice, yeah, yeah, and things yeah. like that. Now, um, <clears throat> what I've been told is that to this day, the mother of these boys believes this was indicative of the fact that her children were going to die that night, and there's nothing she could could do about it. That the synchronicity was so extraordinary, the symbolism was so extraordinary. Um, because, you know, it is, it is, this, this character was originally a, a police suspect. They never found him. They never found out who he was. He just kind of disappeared. They never interviewed him. They, they didn't find him, no one, never got him. Never, and they, they didn't know, they still don't know who he was. They, they were under the impression that maybe, uh, maybe the guy was a serial killer or something like that. Maybe he had started the fire because but, it but seems. wouldn't there be, was he part of some crew or like, was he part of like a stage? He was just or? part, he was, no, no, he was just part of a, there was a theatrical troupe down on the rocks. He was dressed up in an outfit, Moloch outfit. They were dressed up as pagan characters and he approached the children who died several hours later. And, uh, it, it is the fact that uh, this is what really happened. It's not just a ghost story. Uh, it just, it, it's a very creepy photo when you, if you have a look at it. Um, and that is, that is one of the stories. Now to this, to this day, there are security staff, uh, at Luna Park who claim at the time of night that the ghost train fire occurred, they actually hear screams and they believe that these, these are the ghosts of the people oh, the who, who died on that yeah. night. Um, it was his brother and his father. Yeah. The brother, father, yeah. the five young men died on that night. Five boys died on that night. Um, hideous death. Shocking event, really. Just how they, like, that it was a bull. It could have been any other pagan hmm. god, but it was... It happened to be the pagan god, <laughs> yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, the Moloch. And, Moloch, yeah. and, he, and then the kid dies on fire. Like, That's that exactly is right. too much of a coincidence not to be true. 